When you have a job, it's beyond important to do it well and to the best of your ability. I mean, after all, you expect to get paid at the end of the day. However, every job has its own risks, and in some cases the presence of human error basically means that you might not always be able to give it your all. Now, while it's understandable that you can't always be perfect at your job, some mistakes are just over the top and will have the worst possible ramifications for anyone holding that job. That are higher. In this video, we'd like to shed some light on people who have made monumental mistakes at their jobs and pretty much spoil their chances of getting paid that day. From the mundanely funny to the downright catastrophic, here are 20 people who had their first and last day at work. Number 20. An unfortunate turn of events. Now, in my opinion, one of the most stressful jobs in the United States is that of a truck driver. You have to spend a significant portion of your day driving from one place to another, picking stuff up and then delivering it all between locations. Considering that truck drivers don't actually know all of the routes across the country, many of them rely on navigation systems and GPS trackers. However, even when you have the most accurate navigation system, it can't always be 100% right. This truck driver found things out the hard way. In this clip, which was taken back in October of 2013, we see a driver who apparently had a mishap on the road when he reached a low bridge. Now, according to reports, the driver had gotten to the bridge and realized that he couldn't go under it because of his cargo. But instead of simply backing away from the bridge carefully, especially since there was no one behind him, he decided to literally turn. Narrow spaces be damned. To make things even worse, he did it again and again until he got stuck. And you see that? That's the look of a man who knows that he's lost his job. Number 19. Busting a move. You know that feeling when you're at work and just want to dance? Well, we all get that feeling every once in a while, but while most of us can get away with a little work dance sometimes, these gold miners were not so fortunate. Back in 2013, a group of miners got into seriously hot water when they were filmed dancing in a gold mine instead of working. The video footage captured the men having a little bit too much fun in front of some heavy machinery. It started with one miner stepping into the frame and performing a quick jig. <laughs> then it quickly devolves into a full-on nightclub-like scene where more miners come into the frame and begin freestyling. These guys were having so much fun that one of them even began to do the worm. Now, normally, dancing while at work would not be an issue, but apparently the miner's employers were so unhappy with this that they fired them rather unceremoniously, claiming that their dance routine was a violation of their strict safety policy. One of the miners, who was not named, came out to reporters and accused the firm of being a little too heavy-handed with their punishment, and it's kind of a tough argument. On the one hand, I don't think it should be over the line to have some fun while at work, especially since nobody was hurt, but on the other hand, who knows what could have actually happened. Number 18. A Bridge Too Far Driving a cargo ship is never easy. If you need any pointers, perhaps ask the captain of the Titanic or many other ships that have sadly met unfortunate fates while at sea. However, I think that this one takes the cake when it comes to strange maritime mishaps. Back in 2019, a Russian cargo ship caused quite the international stir when it crashed into a highway bridge in South Korea. What was so annoying about this case was that it seemed totally avoidable. I mean, what captain wouldn't know that a ship of that size was not going to fit under that bridge? So, what actually happened here? Well, apparently sources confirmed that the captain had been a bit absent-minded while navigating the ship. He also consistently ignored warnings from coast guards to change course because he apparently didn't speak their language. Even crazier was the fact that the same ship had reportedly been in a collision with a cruise liner just an hour before. Now, I'm not sure if the guy was just having a bad day, 
but I don't think that I'd want him navigating any ship that I was on if I ever decide to go on the high seas. No injuries would be caused, but sections of the bridge did have to be closed for precautionary reasons. Number 17. A High Altitude Fail One more interesting thing about daredevils is that they always look for the next big thrill, and the moment they find something new to try, it's almost impossible to hold them back. However, every tourist attraction that's popular with these thrill-seekers should be familiar with a few basic rules, such as making sure that they're always safe. But it would appear that one safety instructor got just a little bit too comfortable with the rules of the game. In 2018, a theme park in China caused quite the stir after a video of a man trying their high-altitude bridge hit the internet. Essentially, participants are expected to go up to the bridge, hanging 300 meters in the air, hopping from one platform to the other. And as you can expect, any slip-up here would be fatal. And for this guy's case, things were even crazier because the safety instructor forgot to place his safety harness on his back. And you can't really say the guy was so eager to jump across the bridge that he forgot to use the safety harness because the instructor literally motioned at him to go ahead. The video got so many strong reactions, and I wouldn't be surprised to find that the instructor was out of his job. Because that was just way too risky. Number 16. Not my pizza, not my problem. The rise of the gig economy has empowered a lot of people. Whether it's ride-hailing services like Uber or rental platforms like Airbnb, it's pretty easy to find something you own and use it to make some money. Today, one of the biggest gig economy platforms is DoorDash. The food delivery service is used by millions, providing people with their meals in real time. However, when dealing with people's food, it's important to be as careful as possible. In May of 2021, a Detroit man by the name of Rodney King Jr. and his wife were enjoying a movie at home when they ordered a pizza. When the pie eventually came, Rodney and his wife were shocked to find the way that the DoorDash driver had handled it. Checking their camera footage, they found that the delivery guy had accidentally dropped the pizza, and even worse, he literally just opened the pack and put the pizza back, with his bare hands. Rodney would explain that he actually gave the delivery guy the benefit of the doubt, but after not getting a call or even a refund, he had to make a complaint to DoorDash. The company promptly investigated and found the driver, and they deplatformed him immediately. Number 15. A Forklift Screw-Up People who work at warehouses and handle loading will attest to the fact that the job can be challenging, and it's especially true if you're working close to a stack of items that need to be assembled carefully. In 2009, one warehouse worker at a Home Depot location found out the hard way just how important it is to always maintain composure when handling large items. The worker had been tasked with transporting a massive item using a forklift, which should be pretty simple, but apparently not so much. The worker was trying to maneuver in a really tight space, but instead of just taking things slow or finding an alternate route, he decided to channel his inner Dominic Toretto and try to find a way. Safe to say, things did not work out the way that he had hoped. Now, no one can imagine how lucky the guy was to have survived that crash. One second of lagging and the entire column could have fallen right down on top of him. So, let this be a lesson to you. Instead of trying to be the hero or the tough guy, just do things the right way. Number 14. Rolling out the door. There's a kind of growing trend that I've caught recently. A lot of restaurants and fast food areas are requiring their workers to wear roller skates and blades while serving the customers. And to be fair, I kind of see the logic in this. With roller skates, deliveries could be faster, and there's also the fun component of watching your delivery guy gliding along. Still though, as you could imagine, it takes a lot of skill and balance to get it all right. Besides the fact that skating itself is not so easy, having to do that while carrying a tray of food brings a whole new level of difficulty to the entire thing. Just ask this guy, for instance. He was tasked with delivering someone's drive through order, but he appeared not to have been steady enough on his skates. The poor guy must have been struggling really hard to get it done. It's back to the training grounds for you, my friend. Number 13. Fridge Delivery Gone Wrong these days, most people prefer to have large items like electronics or furniture delivered to their homes. 
It makes sense, of course. These things are pretty heavy, and no one really wants the hassle of moving them. However, even when you hope that your delivery will be handled by a professional, things can go very wrong. Back in May of 2021, a family in Ohio would be expecting a delivery of their brand new $4,200 refrigerator, and when that fridge eventually came, it had to be wheeled to their doorstep by a delivery professional. As the delivery guy made it up, he noticed that the fridge was just a little bit too heavy, so he decided to wait for his partner. The problem, however, was that the harnessing on the fridge had not been set, and as the delivery guy made the fridge stand up, it then toppled over. Honestly, I don't even know what to say in this one. A part of me does feel sorry for the delivery guy, but it's just so funny. How do you even let something like that happen for Pete's sake? Number 12. Something with the shoes. When fashion shows come around, designers are usually placed under immense pressure. They have to make sure that their outfits are perfect to a T, and there's always the constant need to make improvements time and again. But while fashion designers do a lot of work, it's also important to spare a thought for the models who have to wear those outfits, because trust me, the work is not exactly easy for them either. Back in 2010, a model would be walking the runway at the Madrid Fashion Week when she had a little mishap with her outfit. Particularly, it seemed like the heels that she was contracted to wear weren't quite sturdy enough, and in time, this would happen. I mean, come on. This was always bound to happen eventually, and to make things worse, she then continued to stagger even after being held up. Props to the crowd, though, for encouraging her with applause, but I can only imagine how embarrassed she must have felt. Yikes! Number 11. Bad Interview Skills Television presenters have a lot of work when preparing for their daily duties, and when it comes to interviewing guests, understanding how to manage them is especially important if you hope for your interview to go well. Sadly, one television presenter at the Today Show Australia apparently was not prepared for this particular guest. Back in 2013, Carl Stefanich was tasked with interviewing Grumpy Cat, the famous cat born with a health condition that gave her a permanently grumpy face. With the cat already having become an internet sensation, Carl was thrilled at the opportunity to interview her. However, things did not quite go as planned. Carl began by asking the cat a series of questions, to which, as you would expect, the cat didn't know. What about the opposition leader, Tony Abbott? From there, Carl simply went on an insane laughing spree as Grumpy Cat's face had him in stitches. I mean, I get it that the cat is funny, but come on, Carl, you had one job. Number 10. Let your hat fall. The construction industry currently has one of the highest rates of accidents, and to be honest, it's easy to see why. Construction workers have a lot of work to do, and with the type of settings that they're exposed to, they can be faced with just so many safety hazards. Back in 2022, we saw a perfect example of this in Toronto when a construction worker was seen dangling in broad daylight from a massive distance. Oh my god, oh my god, hang on! Bro. Hang on up! Just let your heart out fall, bro! According to a statement from the construction company, the incident happened after the worker had hooked a load and became entangled by the tag line. With the crane operator not noticing, the man became hoisted from the top level and had to hold on for his life. Fortunately, the man was let off eventually after someone had called the attention of the crane operator, and he only suffered a slight fracture to his wrist. I'm not sure who deserved to be fired here, but someone surely had to answer for this accident. Number 9. Waiter Ruins Wedding Cake Your wedding day is supposed to be one of the happiest days of your life, if not the outright happiest, but no matter how much you try to make sure that the day goes off without a hitch, there's always a chance that someone else will just throw a wrench in your plans. For this couple, it was apparently one of the waiters hired to serve guests at the event. The bride and groom were all ready to cut their wedding cake when all of a sudden, the waiter had decided to get just a little too flashy while serving them some champagne. 
Now, I have no idea why the guy couldn't just serve the couple normally without the whole razzle-madazzle, but one thing that I am pretty sure of is that he won't be serving any weddings with that company ever again. Number 8. Bad Drink Day now, as I've said before, working in the service industry can be a hassle sometimes. You have to worry about rude customers, and in some cases, having to handle so many orders can also be nerve-wracking. Besides all of that, waiters are generally under constant pressure to move quickly and get people's orders correct. They don't want the customer becoming too hungry, so they have to move very quickly. And that sometimes means handling a bit more than they should. This bartender from New Zealand got a first-hand experience of this when he tried to pick up several customers' ordered drinks at the same time. The guy packaged all the drinks on a tray and got ready to have them served, but suddenly lost control of the entire thing, leading to a great huge spill. Now you know, this may just be the funniest thing ever. It's not the fact that the drinks poured, but instead it's the fact that they poured and the guy just reacted by banging the entire tray on the ground. And in case you're unfamiliar, that's the face of a man who has had enough. Number 7. Where's your landing gear? Now personally, I've never tried to fly a plane. It's not even on my bucket list. But if you're a pilot, then I can only imagine how much training that you've had to go through to do your job. After all, one wrong move could be pretty fatal for both you and your passengers. In April of 2015, a video went viral on the internet after it showed a moment when a pilot had tried to land his plane on a runway. That pilot appeared to have everything set, but he made one incredibly silly mistake. He forgot to load his landing gear. I mean, you can only imagine how terrible this was. After all, the name landing is literally in front of the gear's nomenclature. There's no gear. The pilot, looking to avoid a catastrophe, quickly raised the plane once again, sending it back into the air for a do-over. Fortunately, he was able to land the plane at a different airport, this time with his landing gear intact. Number 6. A Stinky Affair Working as a farmer is another activity that requires a lot of training and endurance. Whether it's dealing with farm animals or having to clean up after them, you need to be careful and patient enough to get things done right. Sadly though, this farmer did not quite get that memo. In this clip, which would be taken in 2014, we see the moment when a farmer had been trying to fertilize his farmland with some liquid manure. Now, the plan was simple. Go to the back of the manure truck, turn the lever, and move around the farm as manure poured down and was able to fertilize the soil. Sadly though, that farmer appeared to be a little bit confused with the spray nozzle, and it was all downhill from there. The situation became so disgusting, the farmer got spritzed with a boatload of manure while the person recording could only laugh. <laughs> Goodbye. I can only imagine how many baths he would have needed to get that stench off of his body. Number 5. Cleaning Duty Gone Wrong Sometimes the human brain can be very weird. You know that feeling when your brain seems to suffer a little bit of a glitch and you're left just trying to figure out what to do next or even what you were doing at the time? Well, take this cleaner, for instance. In this clip, which was taken in October of 2021, a cleaner was apparently sweeping a spot when he placed his broom in his armpit to pick up the dustpan and sweep the dirt into it. However, when he grabbed the ladder, he suddenly forgot where he had kept the broom. This guy spent well over a minute trying to remember where he had placed the broom, and luckily for him, his boss came in and helped him out. Just look at how hard the boss lady was laughing at the guy. He might not have lost his job, but he sure looked mighty silly in that moment. Number 4. Yellow Fever Paint can be a real pain in the neck to deal with. And for people who have to transport it, the need for careful operation can't possibly be overemphasized. For a perfect example, we take this incident. Captured in 2015, it shows the moment after a paint truck driver had been involved in a pretty nasty accident. According to some reports, the truck carrying the yellow paint had been rear-ended by another truck that was moving at full speed. The collision led to the paint tipping out, with most of it splashing on the road and some even getting into the driver's cabin. 
and just like that, everywhere was covered in paint, which included the driver who looked like a character from The Simpsons. Fortunately, nobody would be hurt in the collision, but I doubt the driver would have any luck explaining what had happened with the paint company. Number 3. Going Number 2 Everyone's had that experience at work when you just need to relieve yourself. And in some cases, things become so violent that you end up making some unflattering sounds while in the bathroom. The beauty of bathrooms, though, is that they can be quiet in private places. However, in the case of Mayor Dale Ross, things got just a little bit out of hand. While at a city council session back in 2020, Ross, who was then the mayor of Georgetown, Texas, got up quickly and went to relieve himself. The issue, however, was that the mayor apparently forgot to cut off his microphone before leaving. And this meant that all of the sounds he made, as he went number two, apparently were audible to the people that were left at the city hall. Represent, uh, governmental representatives that are higher up the chain of command. Out of respect for the mayor, no one actually raised the issue once he got back, but I'm quite sure that this was a moment that none of them will ever forget. Number 2. FedEx Driver Breaks TV When working in logistics, one of the most important things to always remember is to be gentle with people's products. You would think that someone working at a reputable company like FedEx would remember this, but back in December of 2019, a family in Round Rock, Texas was thrilled when the TV that they had ordered online finally showed up. Understandably, they quickly took it in and set it up, only to find that there was something wrong. You know, turn the TV on and it's just black. The family eventually checked their doorbell camera, and what they saw was absolutely shocking. Apparently, the delivery driver who brought the television was so careless in his handling of it. The sound you hear is the box hitting the ground. He dropped that TV so hard on the ground that it literally bounced. I mean, is it any small wonder that the appliance wasn't going to work afterwards? Number 1. The Dumb Dump Truck Now, I don't think there's any other way to say this. If you're driving a vehicle, you need to be absolutely sure that everything is covered. This is especially true if you're not driving a conventional car. Just take a look at this next clip. Back in 2019, it shows the moment when a dump truck driver literally plowed into a freeway sign in Houston. Now, ideally, the truck would have had no issues moving on the road, but it appears that the driver had forgotten to place the dumper back into its original position. Still facing up, that dumper raised the truck's height significantly, leading to the collision that took place. Nobody was hurt, but it's difficult to see that driver's license not being revoked afterwards. Having a job to do can be quite challenging, and while no one's saying that you can't make a mistake, I think it's safe to say that the people in these videos definitely aren't winning any Employee of the Month awards. But what do you think? Have you had an embarrassing gaffe at work before? Let's all talk about it in the comments section down below. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel to get more like it in the future. And I'll see you next time.